Well, do you want to know more about the Hickory High School District, which is one of the highest rated school districts in all of Hampton Roads? Well, we're going to talk about that today and we're starting right now. Hey, my name is Sam Sansalone and I'm a real estate agent in Hampton Roads, Virginia. And if it's your first time here, welcome. And I do a lot of videos about neighborhoods in Hampton Roads, real estate in Hampton Roads. And so feel free to watch as many as you like. And if you like me, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell notification and then you'll get notified every time I do a video, which is every Wednesday. Uh, today though, we're talking about uh, one of the most popular and highest ranked online uh, school districts in all of Hampton Roads, which is the Hickory High School District. And so we'll talk about all the things about Hickory High School, uh, the district, where it is in relation to everything else, real estate, of course, and the prices and types of houses that you, that you can find in this school district, the schools themselves, as well as shopping and uh, anything around there that might be interesting to you if you're planning to move to that area, uh, buy a house, rent a house, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, of course, we'll talk about some Hickory uh, High School District history as well. And we'll also get into some of the cons about living in this area too because it's not all fancy and brownies down in Hickory. Well first, where is the Hickory High School District? Well, on the map you'll see it's on the south south side of Chesapeake. If you see that road on the north side there, that's Mount Pleasant. And so the, the north boundary of Hickory High School District is around that, that Mount Pleasant Road area. And it goes just past Battlefield Boulevard to the left, to the west, and then it spans far east over towards the North Landing River, uh, just past the Fentress Airfield. So as you see on the, on the west side there, you'll see 168, Route 168. That is the Great Bridge Bypass, and it goes towards uh, into North Carolina all the way down, even to Cape Hatteras, if you just keep driving down, down that road. Uh, but this road was built uh, a couple decades ago to help save time for people trying to get to Norfolk, uh, trying to get to uh, Virginia Beach quicker, uh, all the way down to the North Carolina line. And so this, this bypass crosses through the Hickory High School District. So you're able to get to Hickory um, from a lot of other places in Hampton Roads relatively quickly compared to what it used to be in the 90s. So distance to the Norfolk Navy base, for instance, still takes you about 35 minutes, but to Greenbar, which is in the, nor the northern side or, uh, of, of Chesapeake there, it only takes you about 15 minutes. If you wanna drive to the beach, for instance, that's a little bit farther too. It's probably about 35 to 40 minutes. Now, if you want to live in this area and commute towards Western Branch and West Chesapeake, that will take you probably about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, so that's not too far. And this is all contextual, right? Because if you're used to driving in a big city, 20 to 25 minutes in a car, but a long distance might not feel that bad. So now the real estate in Hickory. Well, uh, there are several types of houses in Hickory, but as you see, Hickory has more of a country feel to the whole area because I mean, it really was country for a long period of time. And uh, in the 60s, 70s, 80s, these houses in Hickory were built. A lot of these had larger pieces of property because they weren't necessarily in neighborhoods, even especially the ones that were built way before that. You'll hear a term called the Great Bridge Special a lot. That's a common term for a ranch style house in this area of Chesapeake. There's a lot of the same kind of floor plans, same kind of ranch style houses, and the same kind of neighborhoods. There's not a lot of variance in some of these areas, but uh, it doesn't mean that the houses aren't bad because they're great. I mean, the, the locations are great. The neighborhoods are great. Uh, the homes are built very well. But sometimes I, you can you can argue that the styles are kind of redundant. You're buying these houses for a lot of other different reasons. It didn't stop there. In the 1990s, 2000s, and on, even to current uh, time, new construction was prevalent. When I was in high school, a lot of my friends lived in these houses that were built in the 90s, and uh, they were brand new back then. They were popping up everywhere. So if you do like Hickory, but you're not as big of a fan of the uh, late, you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s houses, brick ranches, Great Bridge specials. Uh, you'll find a lot of options, 1990s and up. A lot of larger houses too, you know, 3,000, 4,000 square feet and higher with larger lots. Uh, people eventually start building further out into the country. Plenty of uh, opportunity the further down south you go into Hickory. Now, granted, the, the difference though is that the further down you go, a lot of times the houses are larger and larger pieces of property. And so then the prices go up too. And it's not really surprising because there are a lot of lots, of, there's a lot of open land available to develop. And so by nature, it's starting to go south because all the areas close to like Greenbrier and all the areas close to the interstates have already been developed. So you see a lot of two lane highways, 
um, lots of uh, neighborhood roads, you know, not a lot of uh, major thoroughfares and streets that get you from place to place quickly, which is why they eventually built the Great Bridge Bypass, which drew right straight through uh, some parts of, of Hickory, starting up into the uh, north side of Chesapeake and going all the way down to the south into North Carolina. That helped kind of bridge the gap between all of the, the side roads that kind of went around the Hickory School District. Now, there are a few neighborhoods in Hickory that are priced affordably, under 300,000, I would say. This is, this is late 2019, so uh, prices can fluctuate. But Albemarle Acres is one, as well as Pleasant Grove and Hickory Manor. Those are three that I would say, if you're targeting more of an affordable t uh, uh, price range, under 300,000, those are ones I would look at first. However, the neighborhoods can go up in price pretty quickly. And the averages go from the uh, low to mid 300s up to 500,000 or so. Uh, once you get into the larger houses, even uh, bigger pieces of property as well, you can get way over that. Five, six, seven hundred thousand, a million, and sometimes as high as two million dollars. And the further south you go in Hickory, uh, the more the larger houses become more common. And a lot of people will come here because they're motivated because of the school district. You'll see a lot of houses are built large because they also support larger families. Now, when was this high school built? Well, it was actually built pretty recently, 1996. Uh, it was to help facilitate the Great Bridge. Uh, school district, which encompassed a large area of South Chesapeake. In 1996, they built Hickory to help support the large amount of kids in Great Bridge. However, it didn't last long because Hickory uh, only was able to help support for only so long until 2007 when they had to build a second school uh, grass field, which I'll talk about in a different video, uh, 11 years later to help support the growth that was happening in Hickory, uh, becoming one of the most popular and most uh, uh, highly ranked school districts in all of the area, and even the state. Well, first of all, you've got elementary school, you've got Southeastern Elementary, Hickory Elementary, and Butt Station Primary, as well as Butt Station Intermediate, Hickory Middle, and also Hickory High high school, of course. Now, I'll chop some links below about some information that has gone on in the last couple of years that's developed uh, with the Chesapeake School Board that has tried to vote to redistrict these areas a little bit more. Now, shopping. Okay, if you look at 168 again, Route 168, which is the Great Bridge Bypass, you'll see that uh, as that road stretches down into South South Chesapeake and Hickory, um, there's a lot of, of uh, plains, a lot of uh, farmland, but right near 168, there are a couple places that have uh, your most essential shopping areas. Edinburgh, as well as up north, right near that Etheridge Manor area. Harris Teeter near Etheridge Manor. There's a Target and some strip malls as well down in um, Edinburgh as well. But if you're in Hickory, it's gonna take you about anywhere from a couple minutes, three or four or five minutes, up to 10 or 15 minutes, depending on where you are in Hickory to get to these places, as well as you can get to Greenbrier, which is another add another eight uh, to 10 minutes from that area. You can also go towards the west near Cedar. Uh, there are some areas over there, some grocery stores, a Walmart uh, over there that will take you an extra another 10 to 12 minutes or so also. Now for restaurants, I'll mention too, there are a few in Battlefield Boulevard that I like. One place I haven't been to in a long time just because I don't eat as much pizza as I used to because it upsets my stomach, uh, was Mr. Mr. Jim's. They have good sandwiches and uh, pizzas. I've mentioned this, this restaurant before. If you go a few extra minutes into Cedar, you'll hit Burrito Perdido, my favorite uh, burrito uh, place in a gas station. So it's in the same building. You almost don't, don't even know that it's there. One of the most well-kept secrets in Chesapeake, uh, but a lot of people that grew up here and live in Chesapeake, they'll say that Burrito Perdido hands down is the best burrito. Forget Chipotle, forget, uh, you know, Moe's and Cadoba. Now the cons to living in Hickory. Well, there are some. Well, first of all, you're down in the south part of the state. So if you plan on spending a lot of your life at the beach or in the, on the peninsula or even in Virginia Beach for all that matter, um, expect to drive. You're going to have to be happy with the idea of driving a long way to get anywhere uh, beyond outside of the, the uh, farmland in the, the suburbs of Hickory. This is okay for a lot of people. And that's worth it for them because the, you, know, you do get the amazing school districts and the awesome neighborhoods, but you're giving up the access. You might have to drive a decent Decent, uh, distance to work depending on which jobs you've taken. I spent a lot of my life down in the South Chesapeake. I have a lot of friends that I went to high school with, middle school. When we got to someone's house in South Chesapeake, for instance, um, we had, if we had to either stay home or go out, we had to drive a decent distance to get somewhere to do, do something we wanted to do. So that was something that was ingrained in us, ingrained in me. So I'm used to that. 
but uh, that's not, not something that everybody would want to do. And another couple of things are the real estate prices. The real estate prices are high, mostly because of demand. The, the school districts, like I've said multiple times, are, are in high demand. And then the feel of the area is just real comfortable and relaxed. However, that goes in line with the next con, which is there are fewer houses in Hickory considering the size of the school district. There are a lot of neighborhoods in this area. However, you'll still see a lot of farmland. It's just you start driving and all you see is trees. That's great to a lot of people, but again, there's just a lot of scarcity for property in the affordable price range in the under 300,000, 350 range. And one more thing I mentioned, if you're close to the northeastern side of a hickory is the Fentress Airfield. Now this only really matters for certain houses and neighborhoods that are very close to Fentress. Otherwise, you don't really notice this, but there is some jet noise to keep in mind if you do move into that Fentress Airfield area. So talk to some neighbors as well if you are looking for a, at a house that might be close to Fentress Airfield. So this is similar to what happens on a larger scale in Oceana, where if you're close to Oceana at a certain flight pattern, you're gonna get jet noise, you know, every day for you know maybe a minute or two. So Fentress is not as frequent as Oceana, but it's still some, something to consider if you're planning to move close to Fentress Airfield. Now, if you find that there are any reasons at all as to why you don't want to move into Hickory, you know, maybe it's the price of the houses, it's the distance from it to other places, uh, maybe it's the style of houses, or it could be anything. There are some alternatives that, uh, that are ranked similarly online that I want to tell you about if you're interested in staying in the city of Chesapeake, but want to try other school districts. One is Grassfield, the one I mentioned earlier that is kind of like the, this is the newest school in Chesapeake that's only been built in the last uh, 12 years as well as Great Bridge, which is one of the more original uh, South Chesapeake high schools, as well as going further west on the west side of Chesapeake, which is Western Branch. These, all three of these school districts are ranked high online. If you're looking to a certain uh, neighborhood, talk to some neighbors and see what they might be able to tell you also about the school districts too. And that's all for today. My name is Sam Sansalone. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next video.